Can you upgrade vassal trade ports? No idea. Probably. How do you buy from the AI? Okay, so if we go over to Kilwa, for example, Diplomacy, we scroll down to Charter Company, and then you click that. It usually costs like six, seven hundred to actually enter the negotiations, and then another chunk of money, depending on how much they like you, to actually buy the province. So it's it's not cheap. It's definitely not cheap. Also, I have just hit a thousand ducats, so we should make a world port. Amsterdam, I think it's you. Can't do it because we're at war. Never mind. I'm just going to keep on saving. We're just going to build a bunch of world ports. Oh, I can't get there until we've taken the fort. Spain's not doing good this game. Neither is Portugal. Your blood will make the soil I take from you the richer, says France. Oh dear, France looks like they are preparing for something. That's fine, I still have a lot of big friends. Although, I have not improved relations with them for some time. So I'm going to cancel improved relations with you. And we're going to send one to the Allies instead. Just to make sure that we remind them of their duties in this alliance. Naval victory, we crushed them. Stack wipe. Has Ashanti's army died? Yes. Okay, how much is coffee worth? 450. Yeah, tropical wood's not actually worth a huge amount. Dyes are. Ivory is. There's gold over here. Oh, I can't sue for peace until I have a diplomat. There he is. Now I can diplomatize. They still won't accept. <laughs> they will very soon. The last drop. For a long time, diplomats have been weary of Stotthalder Jakob von Kullenburg and his tendency to insult everyone and everything. They do not get a moment of rest as they have to clean up all the mess our Stotthalder leaves behind. During a visit from the emissary of King Philippe III of Spain, a Stotthalder infuriated the man to such an extent that he threw a tantrum. Never have such insults been heard in our great halls. Diplomatic insult against the Spaniards. Another naval victory. France is preparing to attack Burgundy. Okay, I'm going to need to uh, intercept that invasion with my own. I forgot to train you. Uh, have a general. Tarascan can cancel. I need a fabrication on you. And then I need Vlanderen to go and crush them. Is there a war already? Oh, right, that war. Easy enough to start another one. Take that. Go. My general just died. Need some more generals. <laughs> It's all happening at once. Mm, land tradition's not amazing right now. Not bad, General, though. Could do with more fire ability. Right, Ashanti, are you... We have no diplomat. Yeah, the slave provinces do change to other things later. That is indeed true. You two can go and protect trade in... Lubeck, which is now dominated by us. Huzzah! Huzzah! Shanti, still waiting another month. Come on, I need to go to war with Burgundy. 
Tick tock, tick tock. Lombok is done. Excellent. Uh, Lombok is another big province. There's not a huge number of them left. Oh, and the Spanish are here in New Zealand now. The growth of the business of drapery is two more base production in Groningen. Excellent. We're also almost out of manpower. That's not great. And you're getting separatists, so we need to piece Ashanti out now. There's Ashanti. I'm going to declare war on Burgundy before the French do. That's a rather large force there. Right, we're going to slow this down because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, we do still have a diplomat free. Cycling around the world there. Benin. I really, 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 really want your coastline. And do you have any other valuable provinces? I mean, these four aren't bad. Or I could just go for everything. Same countries hate me. Uh, what's my overextension already? Because this is going to add another 55. 33. I can afford it. Benin. Peace. Money. Minus three. Send. Yoink. The Dutch are growing larger! Now let's go deal with these rebels. And we've done a mission, apparently. Build a treasury. Yearly inflation reduction. Have a treasury of at least two grand. Alright. Build many factories. That's a lot of money. Have at least 20 manufactories. What? That's crazy. Totally doable, though. Gonna wait until you're locked. Uh, am I? No. Oh, shit. You have no general. Um, run away. That would have been very bad. You can have that guy. And then you lot. Whoever's in the front. You. Have that guy. Okay, we got this. Uh, Navy, 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 Navy. Battle fleet! Go up here, blockade them. We'll need to leave the transports here to sort these guys out. Uh, because rebels are a thing. So, what do these count as? Because I can't make them into... Trade companies. Oh no, that's HRE. Uh, yeah, I can't make them into trade companies. That just doesn't exist as an option. I can, however, make these into trade companies. So select you. Add all provinces here to trade company. Done. And then the ones in the back, I can actually just go ahead and state. They're not hugely valuable, though. They may as well stay as territories. Well, I need to call them first. Yeah, there is a lot of that to be done. And we now have enough money for... two Dutch things. Burgundy's already fighting against France, so I need to get to Rethelo, except it looks like somebody else is here already. Ah, sod. Dissemination of the coffee plant. For centuries, coffee has been a product exclusively grown and exported from Yemen and Ethiopia. The merchants of Yemen in particular have found a strong grip of the coffee trade that they've gone to great lengths to stop anyone from bringing the plant across their borders. Just as the silkworm once travelled west amongst the along the trade routes, so too has the coffee plant come into the possession of our merchants. The plantations in Cocos Island have begun to produce a significant amount of coffee, making beans much more readily available. Gain 2,000 ducats. And coffee arabica is going to be removed from mukha. Decline of al-mukha happens. Boom. <laughs> because I needed more money... I now have 4,000 ducats. Let's go ahead and build some manufactories. That'll do. It's so interesting playing as the Netherlands. 
Just keep throwing money at him, yeah. Because we're such rabid colonizers, we're just getting a lot of the colonial events, which usually, like, Portugal and Spain get. At least in my games. Yeah, I need to keep an eye on this area. You can come for my uh, forts if you like. I'm not going to be able to do much about it, though. Oh, well, technically that's all from them that I wanted, so let's merge up our armies and then just go and crush the rest of them. How are we doing against this? Tarascan is dying. As I'd hoped. And the rebels? Rebelling. You stay here. Wait until the others arrive. Dutch merchant Dutch coffee merchant empire for the win. We're not fighting against Brunswick, am we? They ran away. Let's go and take out Mecklenburg. They took Austrasia because I have not rebuilt the f or I have not built a fort there yet. You would need another ten. That's a horrible colour. You need another ten uh, thingy as well. Hopefully they can take this back from the French and then I can take it off of them. They're going for it. Oh no, they're going for my provinces. Damn it. Let's just go for Rostock. We'll, we'll deal with Burgundy after, hopefully. Otherwise, France and I are going to have a bit of a Barney in the future. Um, I'd kind of like to increase your autonomy so that you don't revolt. I suspect that's not going to do very much, though. And I've now got a pretty tight grip on all trade coming through the Ivory Coast. I mean, I control 45% of it without having invested in any marketplaces or any uh, upgrading the trade nodes. I'm pretty happy with that. Denmark's no longer embargoing me. Excellent. That's good. All the cores are happening. Oh, that's true. I'm going to have to wait until all of my cores are done before I can really expand further. Otherwise, every extension is going to be dire. Uh, how many colonists do I have active? You're on the way. Oh, I do have a colonist free. I thought I did. Let's go and just completely block the Spanish off here. It's going to be three, four, five. Rebels. Lots of rebels, but they're attacking the province next to the fort, so that's going to have no effect. You should fall soon. There's a lot of their various forces marching through. I really want them to go and siege Rethelow back again. How are you going? Ha hang on, hang on, hang on. How are you doing this? Fort. 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 Excuse me! Wow, that's that's a particularly poor amount of money. I could vassalize you. Hang on, do you have a... No. You don't. Who am I even at war with? Probably kind of pertinent information. I'm at war with Aachen. Interesting. Rebels died. Fleet died. Gonna take this province. Do I only get gold fleets from Mexico? Yes. Yes, I do. Zontois saying I have a black screen. No, I'm afraid that's on your end. I 
And that's the rest of the Mecklenburg Navy dead. Morale hit when losing ship, minus 10. That's actually really good. Nice. Right, Mecklenburg, you should definitely be wanting out at this point. Thought so. You need to head back over here, take these provinces. Tarascan wants out. Have you occupied at all? Yes. Well done. Alright, so the whole of New London is now ours. I don't need to deal with that horrible little red bit in the centre. And now I just need to deal with the invasion of uh, Fort Netherlands. Fortress Netherlands. Absolute power. We take pride in our United Provinces, in part precisely because it is unprecedented and stands in contrast to the oppression suffered in other nations. However, an increased number of our nobles are pointing to the international trend of absolutism, where one ruler and exercises unrestricted power, gaining popularity amongst neighbouring nations. Jakob von Kolenburg, they argue, has all the makings of a great ruler. Granting more power to the Stadthalder could strengthen the nation and show the other rulers we approve of their ideas. Stadthalder is the state. All of the monarchists around us approve. Or oh, we have nothing to learn from these foreign tyrants. All of the surrounding nations approve. Wait, what? So this is just statists versus orangists. 344 is not bad. Um, it depends on whether I want to trigger an election or not. That's really what this question is asking right now. When oranges are in power, our current ruler will continue to rule until his or to her death, and then every four years, three years actually, because of the uh, thing I have. Why do other monarchs like it when you call them tyrants? I suspect that's a bug. I think that should actually be minus to everyone, not plus. Oranges forever, Dutch monarchy, best monarchy, even though we're technically a republic. The, the question is whether I think I can get a king who is better than a 344. I mean, generally the numbers have been pretty high. And this is only two points above the average. There's an 11 point ruler. I'm going to call an election. So we get a 443 Statist, or a 131 Orangist. I guess we're going all the way Statist then. 444, there we go. Gained one extra admin. It paid off. <laughs> I don't actually want to catch them, so let them escape and go to Namur. So what I want them to do is go and siege down Rathalos. Rathalwa, I'm pretty sure it actually is. Hey, cool sign. Netherlands gets shipbuilding boom. Shipbuilding time minus 10. Um, actually, I, I do have a rather substantial amount of money here. We are still two techs away. Well, really only one from early frigates. Uh, from frigates. So that's going to be a large bout of upgrades. Hmm. Or I could just continue with the manufacturing glut. I think I'm going to continue with the manufacturing glut. Also... You need to go back to trade.
There we are. And I would like to take Aachen out and turn them into a minion. Ah, oh, you're already sieging that bloody fort. Damn it, France! Well, I'm going to go and siege these two down to there. Sixty-six units. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. Dutch wooden wool when? I already have one. Nobody's beaten my navy yet. Even though it's only 20 heavies. This is hardly multiplayer standards. We need like 500 of them. Thirteen, uh, col Interesting. So England's now actually got a colonial nation here. I could go and try and crush the British colonial nation. This does have the potential to bring England in against us. Oh no, I can't argue to do that war yet. We need to be at peace. And there's also Alsace and Würzburg. New idea. I could get another 20% global trade power. I mean, I really want that, but I also really want the Diplotech. No, stop getting distracted. Not doing it. When will there be another YouTuber multiplayer? Monday. Every Monday. Same time. Which is... 7.30. British summertime PM. Until about midnight. I have to say, that series has been doing awfully on YouTube. Like, most of the EU4 series have been doing absolutely fantastically, but that one just hasn't. For whatever reason. Get out of here! Stop seeding my stuff! That's right, run away. Nobles demand privileges. Nobles lose loyalty, gain unrest, or lose 10 prestige. I'm about to get a bunch of prestige from winning a war, so... Um, that's fine. I'm gonna go and take... No, we're gonna wait until you run away. Now I'm gonna take Luxembourg. Mosquito has finished. Oh, it was this one. Okay. Managua. Next. Needs a colonist. In that case, I will... Wait, what? Oh, that one. Pretty cool. Managua. Grab that. Siege of Aachen is over. Too big to vassalize. Um, Alsace was next. What are we doing down here in terms of rebel risk? I mean, we have a lot of rebel risk. So I think that it's, I'm doing the right thing, just keeping the army here, like, ready to react to whatever it is that happens. Group. Shift, consolidate. Detach. Wow, that's a long way around. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, so I would like to repay my loan, which I totally forgotten existed. That's one sneaky Austria. Yeah, Austria was doing really well, and then this happened. Oh well. Hey Blue Kiwi, looks like your game's going better than mine. So does Holland, broke free from Burgundy, only to have the infertile king and end up in a PU under France, who no one seems to want to rival. Someone will eventually, it's just another question as to whether they can defeat them. A good one to go after would be Austria. Austria and France are often at odds, because France often wants to try and get into the HRE, and Austria's like, no!
Aachen's at medium. Aachen's going to want out soon. It's too bad that they took Koblenz. Well, actually, all I really want is Klebs and Meppen. We're about to take that, actually. That's a little dangerous. Wurzburg. Technology, Diplo, finally. Do it. Seven years ahead, and we're about to get the military as well, and then we'll be ahead of in everything again. Right, Aachen is now low. So how about it, Aachen? You wouldn't want to become a vassal. But how about giving those two provinces to me? Oh, you would do that. Oh boy. Bremen, Dietmarschen, Hamburg, Munster, Alsace, Bavaria, Brabant, Magdeburg, Mecklenburg, Memmingen, Nuremberg, Saxony, and Würzburg. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just piece you out for some monies. Although I do have a claim on Clev. Which is apparently a lot more acceptable to people. Let's do that. Improvements in lens making. Oh, price of glass gone up as well. And I produced that in what, Antwerp? Ever since the 13th century, spectacles made from glass lenses have come to replace the old reading stones of older eras. Although. Oh, through thorough optical observation, these lenses have now reached a level of perfection that has allowed even the smallest of things to be enlarged. To the delight of scholars, these new lenses can also be used to create both optical and microscopes, allowing them to examine what could never be seen before, and the refracting telescope allowing study of faraway objects such as the stars. The field of optics is now at the brink of revolution, bringing great benefit both to science, navigation, and warfare. Sweet. I know I was right, right? It was, yeah, Antwerp that does it. Value of glass has gone up. Trade power, 164. Trade value, 20. Read it and weep. 